Hello everyone, welcome to another Premiere Pro tutorial video. In this tutorial video, I will show you how to fix error retrieving frame in Premiere Pro. Now usually error retrieving frame means that, you know, this message will appear when playing a video on a timeline. This error message indicates that Premiere Pro cannot extract information for a particular frame and black screen appears. So it's basically Premiere Pro lagging on you and usually this happens for multiple different reasons. So as you can see, first way that you can do is just close Premiere Pro and open it again. You can update the Premiere Pro and reset it. Uh, you can also clear the cache. Again, restarting your computer can help. Deleting media cache files is usually also uh, something that can fix the issue. In the Premiere Pro, click edit in the upper left corner, click preferences, choose media cache, and from there just delete next to remove media cache files. Then you can just choose delete all media cache files and click OK. Now obviously you can convert VFR to CFR as well. So you can launch handbrake and click file to open your video. Move to video tab and select constant frame rate in the frame rate FPS section and then click start encode. This is a little bit more text savvy, um, you know, fix but it can also work. You can also create a proxy for the file. However, I would not recommend this. I would recommend to change the Premiere render settings. Just try to change it to another render settings and seeing if that works or updating Premiere Pro or updating graphics drivers as uh, I told you right here. I think updating the graphics drivers is usually the case and uh, also if you have uh, enough RAM, uh, you know, if you don't have enough RAM it will happen or if you don't have enough hard disk space as well. So you can try all of these again, not, not every single one of those uh, fixes will fix your issue and error code. However, uh, most of them will fix uh, your error code if you try them each one by one. Obviously, only one of these can potentially fix your issue. So that's pretty much it guys for this video. If you have any questions or comments, comment down below and we'll see you in the next video.